Hi, this is uh, David, the Skunk Valley Farmer. I just wanted to do a real quick uh, review here um, of a, you know, it's a wall uh, circular saw kit that I got for Christmas. This is the seven and a quarter inch. They call it the flex bolt, which is a, um, a 60 volt system. But my understanding is it is the same as a 20 volt system. I mean, you could run it on 20 volt batteries or 60 volt. Um, and I guess, first of all, I'm not a, a carpenter or a tool guy. I'm just a farmer, but I thought I would show you this. Um, the reason I have the wall, the reason my wife bought me this is because I, I wanted one and I have other DeWalt tools. I have the drill driver and the, or the reciprocating saw and a grease gun. So it made sense to stick with the DeWalt brand. I'm not trying to promote DeWalt or anything. My opinion, it's like a Ford Chevy or a Dodge or Ram pickup. Um, it's all what you want. They're all probably about the same. They've got their pluses and their minuses. But I just wanted to open this kit. I opened it to charge the battery, but when you open the box, um, you've got the DeWalt carrying bag. That's kind of nice. You've got, comes with a battery charger. Okay. And this is the 9 amp hour flex volt battery, the 20 volt or the 60 volt. I just wanted to show it in relation to my other batteries. This is like a 2 amp hour battery, you know, a pretty, pretty significant battery. Um, one thing I noticed about this one, it has a charge indicator on there. Uh, you press the button and it's fully charged because I charged it. The other thing, it comes with like a protective part, which I've never seen that before, but you just take it off and it talks about putting it back on, um, I guess, to protect the, the, the prong. Probably because the thing's so stinking heavy. Um, there's instructions if you're into that kind of thing. I'm not. This is the tool itself. My initial impression is it's a pretty solid, solid tool. And they give you one blade, uh, framing blade, 24 tooth carbide blade. So we'll go ahead and put that on. Somewhere on here they should have, right here, um, a wrench. So I'll see if we can do this. So you've got your lock button here. You're gonna lock it in place. Oh, that wasn't very tight. Try to do this without dropping stuff here in the driveway. So you take your bolt off, and then you've got this spacer put your blade in put your spacer back on pushing whatever you want to call it put your bolt in hold your brake clicks into place. Pretty snug. Got a place right in the back where the wrench snaps back in. Um, it's got adjustable depth gauge with markings on it. Um, zero inches to I think it's like two and three quarters or two and a half depth. Um, it's got your guard standard got a lock on here to do beveled cuts, 0 to 57 degrees. That seems quite steep of an angle to me. Um, I would think most of the time it would be 45 or less. So that's a pretty easy adjustment. Um, this tool's got a hook on it. Um, they say that's for hanging in a, a rafter, like if you're working in rafters or trusses guys like me don't do that we, we're ground workers but um, there's that 
One thing my wife said when she did some research that the 60 volt system, uh, they're advertising it that one battery fully charged will run the saw for a normal work day. I'm assuming for a, a carpenter that does a fair amount of cutting. Um, probably if you were cutting solid all, it, all day, it wouldn't do that. But I put the battery in there. My initial impression is it's a pretty heavy saw. I'm assuming because, you know, that's a significant battery. Um, then to use it, it's got the, the safety lock. Sounds good. Let me uh, grab a piece of lumber and we'll make some cuts with it. But my, you know, it it's, feels like a solid unit to me. Um, it's a right right-handed or right side um, blade. Okay, let me let me go grab lumber. Actually, my helper's going to grab some lumber. Grab that big two by four there, Noah. Now oh, I got a helper. Good job. Okay, so we got a two by four. Let's just set this up here and we'll start making some cuts. This has been sitting outside. It's soaked in water, but it's a standard dimensional framing two by four. Here we go. Impressed, guys. Um, just like a, you know, I realize this is not a real um, difficult cut. Give me a second, I'll be right back. I'll grab a more impressive piece of lumber. Okay, so I'm back. This is larch, which if you're not familiar with larch, it's a tree that's grown around here. It's a softwood tree, but it actually loses its needles during the winter. Uh, it's very rot resistant wood. This is lumber left over. I built a truck bed, my flatbed truck. I built it out of larch so it wouldn't rot. Um, so this is a two by eight and it's a full two by eight. This is rough cut lumber. Uh, from an Amish mill and this piece of lumber has been in my garage for probably about two years and it's bone dry and it's pretty hard so we'll we'll test the saw on a real piece of lumber here we go impressed um, not good blade but it uh, it does seem like it's got full power um, that's you know I was looking for a battery powered saw um, just because like I said I'm a farmer I'm not a construction guy you know I doing a little project I might just need to make a couple cuts here and there so it seemed to me it'd be more convenient to have battery powered than it would be to get the cord and whatever I do have a a pretty good rigid uh, corded saw that's always been good to me but I I wanted something like this and like I said my wife got it for me for Christmas this was the kit I think it was like uh, 270 dollars at the Home Depot it came with the, the saw the seven and a quarter inch circular saw a nine amp hour flex volt battery and the charger uh, I think they have the tool only for about $170, so the, the battery and charger was $100. Um, I don't know, we'll see how it works in the future, but so far I'm pretty impressed. Have a good day, everybody.